in. So we're on Paddock Road, as you can see behind me. <coughs> um, heading out today on a bit of a longer ride. This one is about 42 miles. Um, we have done it before. It's the one that goes up to uh, Ponders Bridge and then from there through Whittlesea and then it goes from Whittlesea through to March over I think four level crossings and then from March comes back to Benwick and then comes all the way down Puddock Road here so starts and finishes on this road um, it is quite an early start it's just gone half seven it's a Saturday morning it's fairly still although the turbines as you can see over there are moving a little bit there's not much of a wind um, it is supposed to be quite a decent day today so although it is really cold at the moment my fingers are really cold and my face is actually feeling it as well but um, so yeah so as I say we have done this one I think I've done this one about three times and I'm pretty sure the last time I did it I nearly came a cropper on one of the uh, level crossings because you go over it at an angle to the actual rail tracks and it was quite wet when I did it last time and as I hit the first rail track the front wheel slipped so I'll be a little bit wary of that today um, I mean it is dry so shouldn't be any issues so I hope you enjoy this one um, I will speak to you a bit later I'll put you back on the bars get moving because I need to warm up a bit and I'll see you in a bit I'll see you in a bit
So I've just turned off that busy road back there, um, the one that goes from Ramsey up to Ponders Bridge, which is just back there. I'm now heading over to Whittlesea, which is that way. So this road kind of bends around a little bit, but eventually we're kind of heading over that way. So we're going to go through Whittlesea to March and then uh, drop down to Benwick and then all the way down Puddock Road. Um, I have warmed up a little bit now and some of you might have noticed on the footage from the bars that the mileage has changed slightly. <coughs> <coughs> oh blimey, sorry. Um, <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh bloody hell sorry I'm st I am still I've said it a couple of times I'm still trying to get rid of this poxy bloody cold um, what was I saying uh, yeah the mileage uh, I've I had to stop the Garmin and reset the Garmin just as I turned off Puddock Road onto, onto Ramsey Hollow because it wasn't picking the route up it does do it a few times it's, it's like a little niggly thing that it does but it has picked the route up now so um but the the mileage on the on the unit at the moment is probably four miles less of what we have actually done so um but yeah apart from that and apart from the shocking road conditions back there which you might have seen it's going all right it's um I so say it's quite fresh still, but I am starting to warm up a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I will spin you around so you can see where we're going and stop talking before I start yakking my lungs up again. Uh, and I'll speak to you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. I'm hoping you can hear that, all the bird song. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm in the middle, <laughs> middle of nowhere, so it is really quiet. We've just come down that unfeasibly long road there, which continues right down there to a bend. So we're gonna go, just sort of spin you around. We're gonna go down that way. The road does actually bend round. We're going to go round 
and head over to March, which is kind of over there. And then eventually we're going to drop down to Benick, which is over that way, and then Warboys, which I think is kind of over that way. So we're probably about halfway. Um, going well at the moment. <coughs> Although I am still really struggling, and I'm, I must have eaten millions of midges as well. This this um, this route is surrounded by water. Um, I mean, you can see just here. You got a there's a drainage ditch along there. There's a a kind of it goes along that entire length of the road there it goes up there so i mean that is pretty much what the fence is all about it's all kind of uh flood plains and drainage ditches and everything so there is a lot of water around here and obviously uh, as a result of that there's a lot of midges and sort of little bugs in the air so <coughs> um i've swallowed a fair few of those on the way around and probably inhaled a load as well um yeah worryingly so it is a little bit breezy um, as is normally the case out in the fens the the turbines aren't going around at a rate of knots but hopefully you can well you might be able to see behind me just there um, those ones are sort of turning there's some over there there's some over there there's some right over in the distance there's some over the back there there's some there so as i think i've said when we did when we stopped here before um, it, you know, it's naturally sort of breezy, windy out this way. So it's obvious that there's loads of wind farms to kind of capture and harbor that energy. So anyway, I am gonna have a quick drink, uh, try and get rid of this irritating cough that I've got. I will get you out of the sun, there you go. And we will press on that way. So I will sp probably speak to you the other side of March. Oddly enough, the Garmin doesn't like March. I've probably said this before and I normally get lost so I will um, speak to you when I get out the other side of March how I get out the other side of March we'll have to wait and see um, so yeah I'll speak to you in a bit see you in a bit So I am the other side of March now. As predicted, the Garmin just went absolutely bonkers. Just sending me down all sorts of different roads. But from memory, I did kind of <coughs> remember the way out. <coughs> so I'm on the road now that kind of meanders down to Benick, and then I'll be hitting the top of Paddock Road. Unfortunately, I think there's going to be a bit of a headwind. Um, it shouldn't be too troubling, but it is getting a little bit breezy now. And uh, I think, I think the wind's coming from that way, to be honest. So along here, it shouldn't be too bad. It's sort of coming from over there. And I think, Puddock Road is sort of that way, so it'll be a kind of cross headwind, but it'll be all right. We'll get down there. So, going well at the moment. I do need a wee. I did stop back there for one on uh, quite possibly the, the quietest bit of road I could find. Got off the bike. Got the little fellow out and started and three cars went past it's bloody typical and one of them went past suspiciously slowly as well so i don't really know what they were hoping to see i mean fortunately it is still quite cold so they wouldn't have seen much anyway but yeah it's bloody typical but i do need to stop along here somewhere because 
I am getting quite desperate, so anyway, you don't really need to know that. So, yeah, going well at the moment. Um, probably about another 15 miles left, and I think seven or eight of those are from the top to the bottom of Paddock Road. So, um, I'll probably speak to you again when I'm on the bridge at the top end of Paddock. So, I will see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Another car going past. And believe it. Oh, blimey, I did need that. Right, let's get cracking on. So you should know where we are, we are now. Uh, we're at the top of Paddock Road. That's the start of Paddock Road just there. So I think it's about seven, six, seven miles, something like that. So been a really good ride actually. Uh, we started out going out that way, along there, along to where them, I don't know if you can see those, with that wind farm in the distance there. But we went, uh, <laughs> I don't know who that is, but he clearly wants to get on YouTube. Um, so we went along the back there up to uh, Ponders Bridge, which is over there, and then Whittlesea, and then we went right the way round to the wind farm over the back there uh, to March, and then come down through Bennick. So we come down the back of these fields here uh, out onto the 40 foot bank, which is now open. If you remember the last time we came along here, it was closed, it was lovely going down there towards Chatteris. So we are now heading down there. So I'm gonna get a quick drink and I will see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. So as I thought was going to be the case, we have got a slight headwind. It's coming from that direction, kind of come, coming across here. So <coughs> I just need to just get me head down and get on with this. So thanks for watching this one. If you are new to the channel, please check out some of the other videos and subscribe and like as well, because I know it helps the algorithm. If you're a regular viewer, please like this one. And welcome back. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. I don't know where that's gonna be, but I do need to start pushing the miles a bit more, because I've got this, uh, the Suffolk 
spring classic in about three weeks time i think it's three weeks tomorrow so i do need to start building the stamina and the fitness up for that but wherever i go i'll take you with me so until next time i'll see you in a bit see you in a bit